for those of you that have read the Charles Handy book, The Age of Unreason, you will be familiar with the so-called boiled frog syndrome or boiling frog syndrome. For those of you that haven't, you'll think, what is he going on about as usual? Even for those of you that have, you might have forgotten exactly what it is. So here's a quick reminder or some new stuff for you if you haven't heard it before. Boiled frog syndrome. It's an unusual name for a not so unusual concept. It's basically a metaphor used to describe how gradual changes can sometimes go unnoticed until it's too late. You may have heard that if you put a frog in boiling water, this is the horrible experiment not to carry out at home, it will jump out immediately because it's, ah, it's hot, I want to get out. But if you put the frog in cool water and heat it up slowly, then it won't jump out immediately. It won't realise the temperature change until it's boiled alive. Pretty horrible, right? But you get the principle. As morbid as it might sound, that's basically boiled frog syndrome. Now, this metaphor is often used to describe how organizations, communities, or even entire societies can slowly decline over time without anyone really noticing. It happens when people become complacent and fail to pay attention to the gradual changes happening around them. Eventually, the situation reaches a critical point and it's much harder to recover. So how does that? have any relevance to government taxation policy? Well, I think it has this relevance. At the time of the announcement of those frozen thresholds, allowances, exemptions, then it didn't cause shock horror. It didn't cause us like a, a frog thrown into boiling water to jump out and get horrified and shouted and angry about those changes because it was uh, it will gradually take effect. But at the time it was announced, we didn't notice it. But over time, it has a pretty significant effect. Those frozen Allowances and thresholds for income means income tax means that more income will be subject to tax, more income will be subject to higher rate tax, more income will be subject to additional rate tax, especially with the reduction of that additional rate threshold. More capital will be subject to inheritance tax um, with the frozen nil rate ban and frozen residence nil rate ban. You get where I'm going. You see, I think the government may be unconsciously, but actually did adopt a boiling frog syndrome when introducing those frozen tax thresholds, frozen tax allowances, frozen tax exemptions. That's what they did. That's my theory. Hope you enjoyed it.